So we're in Florida. It is hot and beautiful. You can see the sunscreen on the face. What we're gonna do today is I love fishing offshore structure. And usually, like really my favorite one is kind of like ledges and breaks and stuff like that. But second, very close to that is fishing brush piles and isolated structures, especially during summer. It seems like, you know, whether it's a dock, whether it's a brush pile, whether it's like a big shade tree hanging over, fish seem to love these like, these cover areas that provide one, shade, and two, I think maybe because it's the shade and because it provides like a little bit of darkness, holds a bunch of bait and it holds like a bunch of brim, bluegills, minnows, crayfish, wh whatever. Summer, summer feast, summer buffet, right, for the bat. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna show you what they look like, um, both on the active target, we're gonna play around with that, and then I'm also gonna show you what they look like on the graph, um, how to look at some of these, these offshore structures, what you're looking for, you know, what says, hey, B-A-S-S, bro. That, that's what's down there. And uh, hopefully catch a few BASSs that are like B-I-G. A lot of spelling going on. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I'm gonna get this boat in. Let's go catch some fish, guys, and uh, hopefully they're big. There she is. That's a freaking giant, dude. I have a giant hook. Yeah, I'm on a brush pile. Oh, dear. I hope I got the hook in that one. Oh, yeah. That's a freaking second pounder. Come here, honey. Get that time. Nice. So I've modified my brush pile or my offshore structure fishing arsenal um, a little bit because new baits have come out and new innovations, new jigs, all kinds of different stuff. But when it comes down to it, just as a general practice, really a 10 inch worm on a Texas rigged on you know a tungsten head or even a lead head and then you just vary the weight with how deep you're fishing is a hundred percent like old school but it works but a little more technical stuff if you're interested we'll start with the more active stuff so I have a scrounger head um, this is an open hook presentation and that's actually something else to note when you're doing this structure fishing for the most part you want weedless or snagless rigs I have a few things that are a little more technical and stuff you can play with really they relate to suspended fish fish that are like over pieces of structure uh it's a little hairy to fish because one crank can be the difference between losing your bait or hooking a fish so you got to play around with it but i do have some open fish stuff if you're just getting started i'd recommend using weed guarded or, or snagless stuff which i'm going to show you quite a bit of in a second but i have a scrounger head with a little um spunk shed uh this is one that's pretty cool and this is one that i I've changed you can see I have a big old swim bait I have a three-quarter and then I have a half ounce but what's different to, different about this guy is it has that brush guard on there so I can it's not a hundred percent like perfect but I can take that brush pile and not worry about hanging up immediately with an open hook another open hook deal is a hair jig uh, that's a little half ounce oftentimes with the open hook presentations I would basically go one quarter ounce up from what I'd want if I were fishing on the bottom so let's say I'm fishing in, I don't know, 22 feet. So if I'm fishing a brush pile in 22 feet, that comes up five, six, seven feet. Usually I would throw like a five ace or a three quarter ounce uh, hair jig. This is a half ounce. So like you kind of, you just buck down a hair. Same thing with the scrounger. This is a, I think it's a half ounce scrounger. Normally I throw a three quarter ounce scrounger in those situations. Got a 10XD2, once again, open hook. What I do with that is a little bit different. Um, if I can line up a brush pile enough, we have so much technology. I have my active target, I have my point one. I try to lay my waypoints very precisely and detailed. So in theory, and it's cost me a lot of crankbaits, don't get me wrong, but in theory, I've also caught some big fish doing it. I can cast to the side of the brush pile and maybe bump some of the like the sticks that are hanging off the side or just fish open water next to it and crank right along it. I can also with that 10XD or 6XD or any crankbait tick the top of it but that plays with adjusting your depths on your crankbait in that and you have to be very careful when cranking it down. 
On the more snagless side, these are more of my drag rigs. Um, I got a half ounce football jig. You can see I got the braid tied around there. I actually have two jigs set up. This one has um, the round rubber or a star flash skirt. And then I have a standard silicone skirt with my wacky jig that you guys have seen. I got a Ned rig right there. And then one of the best tools for uh, brush pile fishing is a drop shot rig right there. And you'll ask yourself, why would you want to fish super light line finesse like that in a drop shot? Well, number one, you'd be surprised how you can get fish out. I actually caught one over 10 doing that um, in this past week and she was in the brush and I got her out. It's very sketchy and I'm using a small hook, but it does work. The other thing I found too is when these fish are sort of negative and when you're bonking the pile, say with a jig or a Texas rig and you can't get them to go, sometimes it's because they want something maybe not above the pile, but like a little higher up, not exactly on the bottom or falling super fast. And that drop shot can be super handy. Another kind of cool little sneaky thing you can do with it is I've fished brush piles or, or offshore structure vertically with it almost like those guys do with the smallmouth and that where you sit there over the top of them and you just shake it shake it shake it and it works really well and what's cool is the fish I don't know if you've ever been hung on a brush pile but if you go up over it and try to pop your bait or just a little past it your bait usually comes out so if you do hook a fish that's in the brush kind of straight down vertically oftentimes they can come straight up it gets a little sketch because they come bolting up and jump which is awesome for video but it gets a little sketch but they do come out of the pile i got some secondary stuff too as i mentioned a texas rig 100 percent old school 100 percent the most standard but working way to fish these brush piles i put my own little twist on it and i put a wobble head um that's a half ounce wobble head and i just have a texas rig burner craw but i could put a ribbon tail on there I could do all kinds of stuff i have a little lighter super finesse ned rig with um a shaky shad i have a lighter ned rig as well got a 6xd or it's a crush down there and i got a big nickels mag spoon the mag spoon is a lot like the 10xd where i'll put it next to the pile or i'll kind of sometimes what's kind of cool so we're sitting on a brush pile right now and it's right up here i actually threw that weedless swim bait on it and swam it back to the boat and all of a sudden on here fish are appearing and on my active target they kind of came back to see me and see what was going on so sometimes what you can do is if you're quick you can actually pitch that spoon out right in front of the boat like five ten feet and catch those fish that you're drawing out of the pile it's one of the cool kind of features of the the active target in that that real-time sonar but those are my rigs i'll play around with with a variety of different weedless stuff as well as different plastics i'll use a lot of different plastics but as as I mentioned, if you're getting started in this or you just want to play around with it, I guess the three things I would have is a drop shot, a Texas rig, and you know, probably a swim bait. Uh, a swim bait for fishing around over the top and kind of on the sides. And that weedless one's probably the easiest, best way to go because it is snagless. Got on that time. Might be a better one, don't come off. He's running straight towards the boat. Oh! Whoa, 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 homie. Jeez, the least, You ate it, didn't you? Did you get hooked on the side of your mouth, bro? What did you, what did you do? You aren't coming off. Dude, nice five pounder. <laughs> That's how you brush pile fish. So you guys like me have been super interested in active targets. So let's take a look at what a brush pile looks like with a bunch of brim on it on active target. So what we got here, the brush pile is right there. You can kind of see it as sort of like a chattery kind of like structure. There's a bunch of brim on the top. What's interesting, we've been fishing this for a bit. There's actually, those are bass coming off of it, like out in front. There's also some fish kind of swimming around on the top. The wind's blowing a little, so it moves us around. But you can see, oh, there, there's a bunch of them, dude. Those are actually, I think those are bass because they're coming in on the good white dots. But what happens is, is usually you throw it to like that brush pile, you know, like you'd, you'd focus on the structure. But one thing that you kind of forget, or maybe you kind of get so involved in the moment trying to hit that pile, hit that structure, that those fish will move off on and around it all the time. And especially if you're throwing your offering around it and you're dragging it out, 
just like these guys set up right here, they're gonna be like outside the pile and they're gonna kind of pull off and pull back on. I actually dragged my jig through here a couple times and I could see them come off and go back to the pile, come off and go back to the pile. These fish seem pretty situated outside the pile. And that's one of those things where, you know, hedging your technology and, and just using your brain a little too, like not every single fish is gonna be all tucked up inside, like inside that stuff. So you can target some fish that maybe some other anglers aren't really fishing for.